Hey guys, let's talk about the Blackmore Goldfish. When you take a look at the cosmetic of this fish, it has a black velvet-like appearance. It's black in color. It has a long kind of fancy tail in the back. And it has kind of these telescoping eyes. And to be quite frank, it's, it's pretty ugly. But I guess the saying goes, it's so ugly that it's cute. Um, the popularity of these things are just skyrocketing. Uh, everybody seems to love these goldfish. They're, they're a slow-moving, fancy goldfish. And to be quite honest, I love them too. And um, if you guys want to join a cool Facebook group that I'm a part of, it's Goldfish Keepers. If you guys have any further questions to post, you can hit up there. Um, taking care of these things... It's pretty easy. Just uh, I see some common failures that people do when taking care of goldfish. And the number one, I would say, is not having a big enough tank because goldfish are super messy and they give off a big bio load just because they're constantly eating and they're giving off feces and it raises nitrates in the water. And... Long story short, you're just going to want to get the biggest aquarium possible. I would say a minimum for one of these black moors should be at least 30 gallons. And if you're adding more of them, it's going to be more. So the biggest failure is that people don't have big enough aquariums and the nitrates add up in the water and they run out of oxygen and they die. The goldfish is actually the most common pet fish to have die on people. Maybe that could be because the goldfish is the most popular fish or just because they are, they're the messiest and people think you can just put them in a goldfish bowl and that's a huge misbelief. And um, the second most common failure I see is people feeding this, these fish way too much, you know. The stum their stomach is about the size of their eyeball, and granted, goldfish constantly are eating, and when we feed them, it kind of gives us this good feeling of having a relationship because it's really the only interaction we have with our fish, so we just have a tendency to do it a lot. And when you overfeed the fish, the food that doesn't get eaten sinks to the bottom, and it decays in your tank and raises bad levels in your water and kills oxygen for your fish so making sure that you don't overfeed them and a trick is that only feed them enough food to where they can eat it in a couple minutes because that food that sinks to the bottom is just terrible on your water so um with with i mean it's perfectly fine to have tank mates but you have to add up the bio load of having more fish in your tank you know it's real common to want to give your fish a good friend to swim with and have fun with but you have to remember that that's also more space for a bio load in the water and there's just more feces that's given off and more fish to feed and so forth so but uh if you guys have any further questions again hit up the facebook group um, I can't even speak right now. Go, it's called Goldfish Keepers, or else you can head over to the goldfishforum.com. I'm over there a lot. Um, I'm kind of just a goldfish guru trying to speak some wisdom about goldfish, and I love seeing your tanks. Um, send me links to your vids. I love seeing vids. I post a ton of comments just because I like looking at other people's videos. So, yeah, hit up the comment section. Make sure to subscribe. All right, thanks, guys.